Dreyer's kick is back there towards centre half back and a chance for Fitzpatrick to mark. He doesn't mess about. He goes for hurried kick. He's down. And he may have put this through. I think he has. Yes, a goal. Good play on the part of the Cup skipper that time. And there's no doubt about it. He's kicked for the quarter to Williams. Williams gets distance with his kick up towards full forward. Carlton defence standing firm. This time it's Fitzpatrick. But they can't quite control it yet. He's, he was out, the ball was in. Tom's hand pass to Fitzpatrick. He goes toward goal and he's got this one. It's a goal. Carlton looking good in the first. Has the bounce and then puts the long kick in towards centre half forward. Calvin Moore backing back. Great play by Fitzpatrick to tap it on. It goes towards Basasto. Basasto's kick works. Gets it out to Buckley. The kick travelling well off the boot of Buckley towards Fitzpatrick. And the mark will be paid. No, the free kick is being paid, not the mark. The umpire of Asadu indicated that to the crowd that the uh, Fitzpatrick was caught over the shoulder somehow and he will take this shot for goal from only 15 metres out dead in front of goal. This is how Carlton started the second quarter too. After leading by 27 points at quarter time, they quickly made the margin 33. But Hawthorne did catch them up to be four points down. But now... Fitzpatrick, the Carlton skipper, makes a 10 points of difference in the favour of Carlton. Slightly off target. Fitzpatrick flies high in front and marks. He started in the forward pocket, now playing in to Ashman. Flanagan at the back. Fitzpatrick, too tall, too good. A little bit too experienced for that young fella. A 15-metre penalty. Right on the goal line. This will bring him. Let's look at that again. Let's look, see how he backs back in and put him off balance yes. there first up, Pete. And a 15 metre penalty for knocking it away, which was pure frustration. So Flanagan, not only beaten for the... It's coming over to Austin. Austin in a bit of trouble in the early part of the year with injury, but uh, back on the side now and a mark and a free kick to Fitzpatrick. A quick hand pass coming over there. In that third quarter, Carlton have kicked nine goals three. Well, that shows you their uh, brilliance, isn't it? So now the umpire's going to throw the ball in. Fitzpatrick and uh, Big Reed. Reed gets tapped down, but it's snuck by. Uh... Well, it's cut South Melbourne to kick the ball to the inside of Beecroft, knocked away by Fitzpatrick, and the Carlton small men are there. They're everywhere, and Johnson lines up for his third goal. Oh, he's hooked that. Oh, it might be a mark. It is to Hunter. And Hunter's got it there. He might have a, a snap at Martello creeping out with a mark. He'll be pulled back for sure. At least uh, Hunter's on the right side for a right footer. He'll run around here and try and snap this through, I should imagine. Gone for a pass. And Fitzpatrick has put it through for a goal as he's passed there. That's goal number two to Fitzpatrick. And the scores, 18-15, 123 cup to Richmond, 14-11, 95. Down to set a half forward for Carlton, looking for Fitzpatrick. Easton. Over the top to Ashman, kick number seven coming up if he gets boot to ball. Back to the skipper, Fitzpatrick snaps it goal. And there is a beautiful shot by Mike Fitzpatrick with the left foot. As they trail by 17 points, too wide for Rollins. He goes around Fitzpatrick, the big fella's arms are too long. It's dropping the ball against him. Well tackled by Fitzpatrick. Try to do... ...metres from the scoring area. Fitzpatrick and Dempsey. Ashman, danger here for North Melbourne. Snap it goal, two goals to Rod Ashman, well played. So Ashman looking the danger player up forward for Carlton. Umpire said play on, out the Fitzpatrick again, and now Carlton switch. Play on, says the umpire, Glenn Dinning, looks for Malcolm Blight, Fitzpatrick, good mark over the top. He's lifted his game in this third term, this guy played a good first half, glad lose. Good defensive play by halves, he's played a great game out to Dempsey's, he got the mark, he's playing it there to Fitzpatrick. Kick by Fitzpatrick. Away from goal. A good 75 to 80 metres. Fitzpatrick and McCann. The skipper has the mark. Mike Fitzpatrick about 45 metres out this time. Good mark that time for Fitzpatrick. Incidentally, Pete, they've made a change, uh, Carlton. They've put uh, Duel on to uh, Kelly. Might be a good idea because Phil Kelly in the first quarter kicked three goals. Now what uh, Cable should do is go and put Kelly on Duel. That would be a good idea. Have the two of them all standing together. Fitzpatrick comes in for this shot. Yet to kick a goal today. That sounds lovely. That's up toward the centre half forward area now. Andrew's going for the punch from the back of Fitzpatrick too tall. Put the chest mark in front of him. 
So it's Mike Fitzpatrick, 35 metres out from goal, directly in front. But we've witnessed Fitzpatrick on many occasions missing easier ones than this. Well, he'll need this goal to try and get his team back into it, Bob. It's a very important kick. It's a kick of a captain. As, Mark, as Fitzpatrick puts it right through the centre. Centre wing, looking for Fitzpatrick. The skipper takes the mark. Golden on centre wing. Mark who, he's been very quiet in the last couple of quarters. And again, he's got a few mates I can put into the same category. Gets the hand pass back. Over to Fitzpatrick in the forward pocket. Over to Ditchburn, almost the fumble. Back to Fitzpatrick in the goal spread. Then he ran it behind him, but he still put it through. And a badly needed one to the Carlton side. Kicked by their skipper, Mike Fitzpatrick. Seven big